What is facet joint arthritis? Facet joints are joints of the spine where bones meet each other and they're designed for movement and they facilitate spinal flexibility, overall stability, and prevent the spine from actually injuring itself by over twisting. And this is done by the actual shape of the facet joints, the way they're lined and shaped, and they prevent certain movements from occurring that can actually injure the spine. Now, arthritis is inflammation or swelling of the or one or more joints. Osteoarthritis, also known as degenerative joint disease or degenerative joint arthritis, is the most common type of arthritis. And it involves erosion and degeneration of the cartilage and the, and the joint area that protects the joints, leaving them exposed, leaving the bone exposed through de for deterioration and degeneration. Facet joint arthritis is where a spinal segment is actually being affected. And the segment is one bone, one disc, and one bone below. And in between each vertebra, there are two sets of facet joints, a pair on the left and the right. And the in between, uh, in the front side of the facet joints is your spinal disc, and it forms like a three-joint structure. And this creates stability within the vertebral body or the joint segment. What happens with these uh, facet joints is they can become deteriorated, degenerated, over time, and this is what facet joint arthritis is. And it can lead to a lots of different health conditions. And each joint of the, of the vertebra is dependent upon the other joints. So when one becomes deteriorated, it can affect the other. So it kind of works as a system, just like the entire spine, like the spinal curvatures of the spine, the neck, the mid back, and the low back all work together. In facet joint arthritis, this cartilage or this covering area has eroded and thinned and it causes swelling and stiffness and inflammation and pain. Now the problem is, is the amount of pain or the amount of problems that you feel, or it can be, have a wide range of severity depending upon the location and what the, how bad the arthritis is. But eventually these facet joints become arthritic over time. This doesn't occur quickly, it's a slow process. And these degenerative changes that, that happen to the spine happen as a result primarily because of alignment. When the spine shifts out of alignment, it causes asymmetrical wear to these, to these joints and causes them to deteriorate faster. Now there's other lifestyle factors that can actually increase or decrease the rate of degeneration. Now a little bit of degeneration is typically expected as patients age, but when one area excessively generates relative to the ones above and below, and we can see it very clearly on images that you see one area that's really degenerated and the rest of the spine isn't, it's not just lifestyle changes or lifestyle problems because it wouldn't be so localized. It will be systemic through the entire spine. But when you see one area that's really generative to the other, relative to the rest, we know it's alignment related. And the rates of these degenerate, the rate of spinal degeneration can be accelerated by carrying excess weight, chronic poor posture, alcohol consumption, smoking, low activities levels, like repetitive injuries over time, you know, doing the same thing all wrong over, over a period of time can cause these joints of the spine to deteriorate faster. Now, the symptoms that you feel with this facet joint arthritis can be varying. It can be radiating pain due to nerve compression because the, with the, where the facet joints are located, it also is part of something called the intervertebral foramen. And the intervertebral foramen is a hole where the nerve exit from the spinal cord through the, through the spine out into the body. And as these facet joints become deteriorated, they can become bigger and they develop bone spurs. And those bone spurs can actually press on the nerves leading to nerve compression. But generally, the, where you feel the problems are directly related to where the facet joint arthritis is. So if you have facet joint arthritis in the middle of the neck, you're going to have middle neck stiffness and pain. But then you can also have radiating pain into the head, neck, into your face, or into your shoulder and arms, because that's where those nerves go. If you have low back facet joint arthritis, you're mostly going to affect the low back stiffness and pain. But you can also have pain radiating down into your legs or hips or buttocks. So really affects what area of the spine is being affected by the by the degeneration and also if they're affecting the nerves or not. Now across the board when you have facet joint joint arthritis normally you can have loss in, in spinal flexibility in motion a lot of times in rotation your rotation of your spine in that area will decrease and if once it starts decreasing it's because the spine is deteriorating and becoming stiffer. The end phases of degeneration unfortunately is something called spinal fusion that the spine becomes so deteriorated the bones begin to become bone on bone and then they start fusing and interlocking and 
and the spine actually cannot move in that area at all. And that's the ultimate uh, reduction in spinal flexibility and movement. So if you're seeing feeling stiffness in certain areas and you know you have some arthritis or some degeneration in those areas, it could be affecting that area faster, it could be progressing faster, causing more and more issues. Now, how is how do you treat these things? Well, the problem is the factors in treatment could range significantly based upon the severity and, of course, the age of the patient, the overall health of the person, the degree of nerve involvement, the shape of the, of the spine, what else is going on. But really, the effective treatment plans, first of all, are to restore alignment. That's by far the most important thing, which let's talk about in a minute. However, a lot of things are done to help treat the symptoms. And normally the way you treat symptoms is to deal with the pain and swelling and inflammation. And normally patients can use like hot cold therapy, they can use stretching, they can they can improve their lifestyle changes to help decreasing inflammatory markers that increase inflammation. They can use physical therapy to help keep the spine strong and muscles strong around there. They, they can also do flexibility exercises to help improve flexibility and core strength, meaning that so therefore the, the spine can have a, a, better, a greater ability to move better. But the most important thing, like I mentioned, is alignment. It's kind of like having an unaligned car. If you have an unaligned car and one tire is degenerating or deteriorating faster than the other three, well, eventually you have to realign the car so it's up to stop the tire from deteriorating, degenerating faster. And this is where structural spinal care becomes very important. And things like chiropractic care, spinal rehabilitation, spinal exercises, structural-based rehabilitation that helps move the spine into a better alignment. Now, it can't restore or reverse degeneration that's already been lost, but it's by since it's addressing what's causing the deterioration to occur, it can slow down the progressive rates and it can also stop it from accelerating its rates over time, halt what's already happened to not let more continue to occur. Also, if you get if you realign the spine and, and you help restore hydration to the joints around that area, you can help open up some of those holes. So therefore, where the intervertebral foramen is and the nerves are coming out, you're not feeling the compression like there was. So you can decompress some nerves to help relieve pain and radiculopathy and some of the things that you're feeling as a result of this facet joint arthritis. The goal of treatment is really to restore alignment first then also preserve spinal function, pre prevent further damage, and reduce pain, improve quality of life. And then once you can do that, you can also use all the other things I mentioned earlier to help improve uh, lifestyle functions to help decrease inflammatory loads so the spine doesn't continue to deteriorate. Once there's the facet joint deterioration and arthritis, we know that they start to affect the connective tissues in those areas. It can start affecting the nerves. It can start affecting the discs. So therefore, restoring alignment and treating this problem early will help preserve the spinal integrity, not only now, but also in the future. So we recommend doing a combined treatment approach to get the very best structural results possible. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.